Since the APA took over operations of St. Louis County Animal Control, and in that short time, we are already seeing some really big changes. So to update us on those changes is Sarah Javier. She joins us. She is the CEO of APA. Glad to have you with us. And we have a special guest. Also, tell me who we have this afternoon. So this is Dash. Dash is almost two years old and mm -hmm. is available for adoption now. Um, we got down here a little bit early and took a lovely walk around Good. the arch grounds, and he does well on a leash. And and is really pretty chill, loves dogs that he meets and people, and he was a big hit in the room when we got here. <laughs> I bet everybody loves dogs. All right, well, how many uh, fosters and adoptions have you been able to secure since taking over the facility in early December? So we started operating that facility on December 5th. Mm -hmm. um, we launched a foster program, and we have gotten 27 pets in foster, and another 57 have been adopted. So we're very pleased with the outcome so far and are really excited to be helping pets like Dash um, find wonderful homes. And give us some perspective on that. What was it like before you guys took over? So all shelters across the country, including um, the new Olivet APA, mm -hmm. are very crowded. Um, and so we were delighted to be able to get in there, partnering with St. Louis County um, to provide some really great care to the pets and help them find homes. And I know a lot of that care has to do also with the cleanliness of the facility. Kind of give us an idea of what it was like in the beginning and how far it's come now. So anytime you're dealing with animals, it can be pretty messy. There's mm. lots of laundry, <laughs> lots of dishes, lots of cleaning. Um, so on our first day, we had our whole team there. Um, it was a big team effort. We got in and we did a lot of deep cleaning, um, got all of the dogs out for walks and enrichment, um, also provided enrichment to the cats, and we've been doing the same ever since. Good stuff. Have you seen uh, the personality of the animals come out a little bit more? Can you tell they're more comfortable? What is what is it like for them? So one of the things that happens when you find animals homes, um, you lower the number of animals that are in the shelter and the stress level mm. decreases too. So we're seeing animals now that they have more enrichment and they have walks. They're starting to calm a bit. We're seeing, seeing them just behave relax. just like this and relax. Um, and we're also getting to spend time and learn about their personalities, yeah. both through enrichment and walks and things that we're doing at the shelter but also with the help of our foster volunteers, we're learning a lot more about what will make the perfect match. And that makes them easier to adopt and make sure that they aren't coming back also. That's correct. Yeah, so tell me about the next goals. So the biggest goal, of course, is to find as many pets as we can homes at the Brentwood APA location this year. Um, so we celebrated 100 years this year, but we have nice. surpassed our goal of 5,000 adoptions, and we're looking forward to bringing that same level of success to the Olivet location as well. Really excited to see that happening for you guys. Sarah Javier, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. All right, thank you. The Bank of England